there was a vast and ragged fleet of human ships, and some of them were dedicated war vessels, and others were just whatever could be thrown into space that wasn't any use for the evacuation. Orbiting Hiver factories were weaponising their workers. There was even the brooding hulk of a Neiromathy locust arc out there, the largest craft in system, save that it was still dwarfed by the architect itself. And nobody knew what the locusts wanted or thought about anything, save that even they would fight this enemy. And there was the pride of the fleet, Solace's sisters, the Parthenon, humans for a given value of human. The engineered warrior women who had been the colony's shield ever since the fall of Earth. Heaven's sword, ascending mother, and cataphractor, the most advanced warships humanity had ever designed, equipped with weapons that the pre-war days couldn't even have imagined. As Solace craned to see, she spotted a tiny speckle of dots between the fleet and the architect, the advance force. The tip of humanity's spear was composed of the Parthenis' swiftest ships. Normally their role would have been to buy time, but on this occasion, the Pythoness, the Acasio, the Shinshi and others were carrying their secret weapon to the enemy. Solace didn't believe a word of it. The mass looms and the zero-point fighters the Heaven Sword was equipped with would turn the battle, or nothing would. Even as she told herself that, she heard the murmur of the other off-shift women around her. Intermediaries, one said, a whisper, as if talking about something taboo, and someone else, a girl barely old enough to be in service. They say they cut their brains. That's how they make them. Telemetry incoming, said one of the officers, and the display focused in on those few dots. They were arrowing towards the architect, as though planning to dash themselves against its mountainous sides. Solace felt her eyes strain, trying to wring more information from what she was seeing, to peer all the way in, until she had an eye inside the ships themselves. One of those dots winked out. The architect had registered their presence and was patiently swatting at them. Solace had seen the aftermath of even a brush with an architect's power, twisted, crumpled metal, curved and corkscrewed by intense gravitational pressures. A large and well-shielded ship might weather a glancing blow. With these little craft, there would be no survivors. It's useless, she said. We need to be out there, us. Her fingers itched for the keys of the mass looms. Myrmidon Solace, do you think you know better than the fleet exemplars? Her immediate superior, right at her shoulder, of course. No, mother. Then just watch and be ready. And a muttered afterthought. Not that I don't agree with you. And even as her superior spoke, another of the tiny ships had been snuffed into darkness. Was that? Someone cried before being cut off. Then the officer was demanding, Telemetry, update and confirm. A marked deviation, someone agreed. The display was bringing up a review, a fan of lines showing the architect's projected course and its current trajectory. So it altered its course. That changes nothing, someone spat. But the officer spoke over them. They turned an architect. Whatever they did... They turned it! Then they lost all data. After a tense second silence, the displays blinked back, the handful of surviving ships fleeing the architect's renewed approach towards Berlinhof. Whatever the secret weapon was, it seemed to have failed. High alert! All off-shift crews make ready to reinforce as needed. The fight's coming to us! came the voice of the officer. Solace was...